Hello and welcome to another presentation of English Education. In this presentation, this is again a refurbishment video. In this presentation, we will explore what is inside a optical drive. This is a optical drive. On the other hand, it, it can be called CDDVD or Compo drive. Um, this is for a industrial computer. Now, optical drives are quite uh, out of fashion at the moment. Um, new version of PCs are made without optical drives. Um, and let alone the laptops, a laptop no longer has the optical drive with them. But uh, in still in industry, there are wide application of optical drive. For instance, this, this optical drive is from a medical CD publisher where for confidentiality reason is still in um, medical industry especially in uk uh, the optical drives the cgs are produced um, in uh, gps uh, also as well as in in um, x-ray industry where the patient's x-ray image also cg mri image are stored in the optical drive uh, and it is handed to the patient um, with the name and address uh, published uh, printed on top of the cd now uh, this optical drive is from a medical disc publisher but it is it is not a working optical drive in this video we will open this optical drive and we will explore um, what is inside it and uh, for this uh, the tool i will use first of all cotton buds uh, the silicone oil uh, robotic silicone oil uh, this is a really good oil for uh, robot maintenance then i have my DVD drive and my tool case is my um, uh, screwdrivers and uh, isopropanol alcohol. Now for this optical drive uh, it is mainly uh, from sheet metal envelope but there are screws. I will first take the steel off. So these screws I will unfasten. This is a really good screwdriver. If you have got all the bits, also it has got a ratchet operation. Also, it can be made uh, angular, different angles as well. It's a quite big one. I'll get more smaller version of it. This is really easy to lose screws so make sure before you opening any electronics you decide where you're going to place all the screws there are lots of interesting projects you can find in internet based on optical drives you can make many more robotic projects with optical drive and drop optical drive is the very basic perfect example of how a electromechanical system works now how to open it I'll get a flathead screwdriver and try to open it from here Other side same. What I understand of working as a service engineer is that, that the first part of working, I would say the half of the working is opening a system, how to figure, figure figuring out how to open a system and uh, opening then putting it back. If you can put it back as the way you opened it, basically you have done half of the job. So for this, this unit, I can see there are lots of latches. If I take this plastic latches off, I see if it's open or not. I see some success, but not 100% though.
this copper sticker can be a good conductor so for ground purpose it can be savaged and used for other projects as well now just trying to figure out what is the weakest link the best way of learning something is by doing it you can see plenty of youtube videos but the thing is what is the point if we don't do it and uh, i think that's how the human brain works wow so this is our optical drive i can stretch the lots of useful parts in it yes so this is the laser parts where it reads all the information from the cd now what i will do is i'll give it a clean with isopropanol alcohol I'll give it a proper clean with isopropanol alcohol and the next part is I'll put some robotic oil the silicon oil on the rail system so this is the rail system i put the oil so make sure i don't put too much i already have put a little bit more than i should have okay now i think for refurbishment purpose that is done now let's explore some internal electronics more okay so as you can see this is the motor assigned with opening the cd tray and closing it and then this is assigned with reading the CD and I, be I believe there is a servo mechanism and this is the motor assigned with spinning the whole system the whole process is really it is really well manufactured and it is designed to last for a long period of time these optical drives are very expensive they can cost uh, around 150 pound for two of them so uh, around 75 pound on the other hand uh, 100 or so dollars for a for a city drive which is quite expensive i would say i'm going to explore the mode and i'm going to make a robotic drafts machine where it can draw a uh, various things from a PNG image or things like that I will explore more of these in next videos that's all for today I will see you at next time but the refurbishment work is done we will put it back as it is not really putting it back I would like to explore it more in next video thank you for watching this i will see you at next time